The Porta Bridge Rail Link Project, a 172 km railway link being built to connect capital Dhaka to Jaisu in the country's southwest, is on course to be completed in June 2024. Construction of the section from Dhaka to Bhanga is scheduled to be completed in August. Train services on the Dhaka to Mawa to Bhanga line through the Podda Multipurpose Bridge would commence by the end of this year, Project Director Afzal Hussain said. The Bangladesh Army's Engineering Corps is engaged in the almost 40,000 crore Taka project as a construction supervision consultant. The railway track panels and goods of the main bridge are being taken from the Mawa end of the Podda Bridge. Trucks, loaded with huge track panels, crossed the viaduct and ran over the stoneless railway line on the main bridge. The railway line is being constructed in three parts, a 37 km Gandharia to Mawa section, a 42 km Mawa to Bhanga section, and an 87 km Bhanga junction to Jesu section. Some 43.2 km of loops, siding and Y connections brings the total track length to 215.2 km. On 4th April, Railway Minister Nurul Islam Sujan crossed the Podda Bridge by train on a trial run. Our plan is to connect the rail link from Dhaka to Bhanga in September, which will be suitable for uninterrupted movement. Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina will inaugurate it in September. The rail link project from Dhaka to Jaisur will be launched by June 2024. If it can be connected from Dhaka to Bhanga, regular trains will be able to run through this part, the railway minister said. Overall, 74% of the entire project has been completed. The important work of laying the railway line on the Mawa to Jazira section over the Podda bridge has been completed, said the minister. Construction of 13 major bridges in this segment has been finished, as has 30% of the railway station construction. The 83 km section is 93% complete. The 12 km road connection between Mawa and Dhaka is now complete. The Bhanga to Jesu portion has been completed to 93%, while the entire line from Dhaka to Jesu has been completed to 74%, the minister also said. The plan is to procure 100 passenger coaches under this project. Of these, 45 coaches have arrived, while the rest are coming. According to the project information, 20 stations are being constructed on the line from Kamolapur to Jesu under the Podda Rail Connection project. Of these, 14 stations will be new. The six old stations will be revamped to make them modern and up-to-date. Two new stations are being constructed in Kerani Ganj and Munshi Ganj. Besides, the construction of Srinagar and Mawa stations in Munshi Ganj is almost complete. After Mawa Station, Podda Station is being built at Jazira in Shariatpur after crossing the Padma Bridge. And then Shipter Station in Shariatpur. The Podda Bridge was opened for vehicular movement on 26 June last year. On 20 August, nearly two months after the inauguration of the Padma Bridge, the railway minister inaugurated the work of laying the railway line at the Zila end of the main bridge of the Podda. According to the project sources, the Podda Bridge Rail Link project was estimated to cost 35,000 crore taka at the time of approval of the DPP in 2016. The term was set for December 2022. But in April 2019, the cost of the project was increased by 4,269 crore taka and the cost was fixed at 39,500 crore taka. The ECNIC meeting also approved the proposal to extend the project till June 2024. China Exim Bank is financing the project on a G2G basis. Of this, China's Exim Bank will provide loan assistance of about 21,000 crore taka. The final loan agreement was signed with China in April 2018. The remaining money, over 18,000 crore taka, would be spent from government funds.
Construction of the project is being constructed by Chinese contractor CRVC. When asked whether the project cost will increase again, the railway minister said, there is no possibility of increasing the project cost now. Thank you so much for watching. Hope to see you soon with new project updates. Till then, take care.